We visited his studio in Mushin, Lagos, in the build-up to this exhibition and saw how he primes his canvas, the latest techniques he's working with. But now it's time to see how it comes together in Rinwad Oshinawa's exhibition at the National Museum, Lagos. Seeds of Peace, the Sower and the Envoy, the result of months of toiling behind closed doors has been put out for everyone to see. Rilwad Oshinowo exhibits over 20 works of Islamic art at the National Museum, Lagos, showcasing the latest technique he has been working on and how it all comes together. This is an exhibition that is not always common. Maybe the last one we had was three years ago in Abuja. And the last one we had in Lagos was about six years ago. I don't just exhibit, but I have message to pass. And that is why I have this seed of the seed of peace, the so and the ever, because it's a strong message. The beauty of calligraphy is seen here as words from the Holy Quran are infused into these works with an instruction for the faithful. To make this art pieces takes time. We've been on this one now for the past one year and uh, we can only bring out 50 pieces. But they are very good quality pieces and hopefully sometime in future we intend to make it an international Islamic art exhibition. Because we need to educate people more, we need to let them know that in Islam there is culture, there is peace. And then mostly Islamic calligraphy, teachings from the Quran, verses from the Quran, this will emphasize the knowledge base, make it more in-depth and uh, give people artistic works that they can even do marvelous things with. So it's more than just the aesthetics. The message is key and the messenger is only an instrument for conveying this to the viewer. So each piece represents a seed, playing up all the virtues that birth peace. A new type of framing has been introduced to complement each work of art. A lot of gold and brown adds to the aesthetics. In keeping with the dictates of Islam, this artist does not go overboard but restricts himself to what his religion permits and is still able to bring out beauty from it all. A lot of art patrons are here to give support to not just the artist but the message one they feel cannot be overemphasized, especially during these times. Right now in Nigeria and generally all over the world, there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of variance, you know, different ideologies. But basically, humanity is one. And if we are one, we should have some common characteristics. This is us depicting what Islam says and um, everything about Islam. It is not all about violence and it is all about being, being indoor, but you can, creativity is part of Islam. Even during the time of the Prophet, there has been creativity. When you go to the Arab world in um, Saudi Arabia, in Iran, you see so many beautiful artworks depicting what the Prophet Sallallahu has told us. Because Islam talks about the Quran and the Sunnah, that's the sayings of the Prophet. And everything here is evolving around what the Prophet Sallallahu has told us and what the Quran has told us. The average uh, uh, Muslim person is a conservative person. But with this show, I think there is a break between that conservatism and contemporary. You know, uh, the artist has been very contemporary. Uh, he's been able to contemporize uh, his works to the extent that an average Muslim cleric who want to put any of these works in his own. There's also a clarion call for everyone to do what they can and use the arts for change. And in that time, they have to come out. If they have anything up there, let them come out. Let them come out as species. And even if by God's grace, um, next year too, I'm, I mean, I'm inside to do a kind of a, a group exhibition as well. We are once, I mean, the, the, the creative people to come around and exhibit. It's always good to do that. And it's really to address the issue. And it's work of an artist to address the issue in the nation, not just to do arts for money, whatever. I mean, put up, I mean, put up a show, address the issues. Let people learn from it. Let them know what is happening. Let them know. And not, 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 you know, if you put up anything by illustration, people tend to get it more. It's like if you want to get some, some uh, message across anybody now, just put it in the, in the song. 
Try to sing it. You know, before you know, they will take it. They will, <laughs> even if you are talking about rubbish, they will take it after you. And all because you put it in the, you put it in the, in the song. Same thing too. If you want to pass a message as an artist, put it in your heart. Put it in your colors. Put it in any medium. Then people will love it. Ordinarily, our hands look the same, but they don't do the same thing. Ridwan Oshinowo can use paint and brush in the same way I cannot use it. But yet, he has the same hand like I have, five fingers. In fact, maybe my own hand is even bigger than his own. But he, he brings forth bigger things from his hand than I can bring. It is the same rain that will bring very sweet scents, that will bring very pungent smell. It is the same rain that will bring sweet uh, uh, juice from mango, from oranges, from apple, that will also bring bitter, but medicinal juice. Uh, from Waterleaf. Redwan Oshinawa hopes that the seeds he has sown through these works of art fall on fertile ground and bear fruit in the viewer who is just a part of the envoy that has been sent to heal the world. Now you can really appreciate all that grind and that's why I love to bring you the backstory anytime I get the chance. But it seems some of our viewers are like Oliver Twist asking for more. On Facebook, Kende John Hussein says, we enjoy your program, but please include more artists at work. That alone will inspire the young generation. On Twitter, at Chief for Emiola, hashtag at house, showcase fruits of hard work and creativity at National Theatre. Those children gave life a colorful meaning. At Melinda Akilami, and that's someone who saw the backstory from start to finish, talking about the children's creative workshop. So, Kendi, you see? Someone's bailing me out. Then at Enzo underscore Uzo says, I love watching your show, falling more in love with the arts. Yes, Uzo, it shows Africa has a lot of creativity, and it's a pleasure to always bring it to your screen every time. Now, let's find out who our artist for this week is. And Art House continues in a bit. He became the second novelist to receive Nigeria's highest and most prestigious national prize for academic and intellectual attainment since the award was inaugurated in 1979. 